Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys, welcome to Can We Eat Yet? Hey guys, welcome to Can We Eat Yet? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Can We Eat Yet? <laughs> Hey, hey guys. guys! Welcome back to Can We Eat Yet, where we eat the latest and greatest food in Toronto. My name is Victoria. And I'm Eric, and today we'll be bringing you to a restaurant which is always fully booked, even on a random Monday night, which is... Piano Piano! So today, Eric and I are at Piano Piano. We chose to come to Piano Piano today because Italian food is some of our favorite cuisine, and I've been craving Italian food for about a while now. So Eric and I chose to Google some of the top Italian restaurants in Toronto, and Piano Piano was always the very first, or one of the first restaurants to pop up on Vlog Tio and Narcity. Their food and the decor is very, very beautiful and very Instagram worthy. The restaurant is beautiful inside and out. So for the appetizer, we got the smoked burrata. It comes with romesco verde, pickled grapes, malden salt, and four pieces of toast on the side. This dish here is one of the main reasons why I was craving Italian food. Uh, I love big ol' mozzarella balls. Big ol' mozzarella balls. And burrata is a beautiful, an amazing dish. I love it so much. Uh, the only difference that I've noticed so far though is that Piano Piano uses grapes in their burrata and I have only ever had them with pickled banana peppers so this should be interesting. So this burrata is very 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 good. Um, like I said a lot of the burrata I've had only comes with pickled banana peppers and this one comes with grapes which adds a very sweet element to it. Um, you can also tell that there's a lot of herbs, there's rosemary on top of the uh, burrata and the burrata itself is so light. You can also tell that there's a lot of rosemary and a lot of herbs put into the, into the burrata. Um, the toast also is very, it's not too hard. Sometimes you get, when they serve you bread with the um, burrata, it's not, it's very, very hard, very crunchy, and it kind of cuts your inside of your mouth. And this one's very tender. The burrata on the outside kind of tastes like a, a mozzarella ball, so on the outside it's kind of like a thicker skin on the inside. Um, it's kind of like a goat cheese uh, texture I would compare to. Very fluffy, it's very delicate. Um, it kind of tastes like um, like a really big pillow uh, stuffing, like it's a really big pillow inside just full of feathers and uh, very nice and delicate. I think the toast complements it really well, gives it a little crunch. And also, uh, just when you think that um, it tastes really good, you have a bite of the pickled um, grapes, and it kind of releases like a nice sweet, uh, juicy um, grape in the dish, which really brings out some flavors. And I really like the herbiness in it. Um, I think the verde in there, it just tastes very, it's almost like it's from the garden, like it's straight from the garden, very fresh, um, as if it was like picked like five minutes ago, right before it was put onto this plate. Um, I like it a lot. I think it was 5 out of 5 for myself. I got the ravioli con bolognese, which is stuffed with ricotta, smothered in some pork and beef bolognese, and has a sprinkle of parmesan on top. So I got the ravioli here at Piano Piano. Uh, I got the ravioli because when I was a little kid, I was obsessed with the Chef Boyardee ravioli in the, that came in the can. Um, I used to eat that like every single day for like, for what I remember was like forever. Um, so now that I'm older, I still love ravioli, um, and this one comes with five pieces, and it comes with um, ricotta on the inside, and the sauce outside is like a bolognese. So this ravioli is so, so delicious. The parmesan cheese on top is very gives it a very sharp, cheesy bite. Uh, the ricotta on the inside of the pasta is very milky. Um, and it's very soft. It's like it's almost like your tongue is like caressing a baby goat. <laughs> um, and the bolognese pasta is also again very yummy and very very hearty. Um, and the pasta isn't too heavy, which is amazing. It's very delicious. So I ordered the bone in veal parmesan, which has fior di latte on top, tomato, spicy soppressata, and some basil. Today I got the veal parmesan here at Piano Piano. Um, for me, when I'm eating food, it kind of evokes a lot of emotion for me. Um, not that like I'm really sad when I'm eating it. Uh, what I mean is it kind of evokes like memories of the past that I've had. For me, veal parmesan reminds me of high school. Uh, back when I was high school, I didn't even want to admit this, but it's kind of embarrassing, but 
Uh, back in high school, I would get allowances from my dad um, to have um, lunch at school. And there was a veal parmesan sandwich that was five dollars. So um, if you do the math, if I ordered that four times a week, <laughs> one day I wouldn't eat because I would be short money. So veal parmesan is a uh, it's kind of like a, a luxury I had growing up in high school because if I ordered this, I wouldn't eat <laughs> another day in high school uh, during lunch because I wouldn't have enough money to buy it. So eating veal parmesan uh, means a lot to me just because it reminds me of high school. Hang with my friends during lunchtime, and I would order this, and I wouldn't eat for the other day. Um, and I know, as embarrassing as that sounds, um, I want to try it today just because I saw it, and it, it just reminded me of all the good times I had in high school. So let's dig in. <laughs> so first bite, uh, eating the veal parm. It is. It's kind of like cutting into like a very delicate steak. The veal parm is coated with all this tomato sauce and all this cheese. Um, I believe it's called Fior di Latte. I don't, I hope I didn't butcher that name. But um, the cheese itself is so cheesy. Do you guys even see that? Look, look at that. All that cheese on there. It's smothered with tomato sauce, which you would expect from much, um, any kind of parmesan. And there's so many herbs on there. Um, I love the basil taste on top of the veal parm. There's another element on top of the veal parm I didn't expect at all, which is they have little pepperonis. Um, it gives it a very nice salty taste to it, um, kind of like enhancing like the the flavor and like the saltiness of the of the dish, which I really like. Um, and you don't normally see a cut of uh, veal parm, I guess anywhere, with like a bone in. I think that this is just um, a very nice addition to the uh, dish. It kind of just makes the presentation a little uh, more elevated. It seems more sophisticated even, um, having the bone on the veal parm. And I think that it's lightly breaded. It's not like overly uh, breaded to the point where it tastes like uh, you taste like all this bread in it. Look, it's like so light on the, on the outside. Um, you can see that this is just very light. It's not even breaded almost. Uh, it still enhances all the, the veal taste, and I'm really enjoying this. Mm. If you guys have made it this far in our video, we'd like to thank you for tagging along. If you enjoyed the burrata, the ravioli, and the veal parmesan, remember to give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. Till next time. See ya! Bye! Nailed it! <laughs>